Mr. Samajit, here is Margaret Alva, uh, where an interview she gave to India Today in 2016, her, the snippets of which have gone viral, where she's accusing the Gandhi family on many levels to be associated to the Agasta Westland deal. In fact, she now is your candidate for vice president. Is this a peace deal? Is what the BJP questions. Well, you see, in politics, there are always grievances, allegations which are taking place. And then uh, in the year, some years ago, if she had some grievances with either Mrs. Sonia Gandhi or with Congress, that does not mean that she is to be completely discounted. Now, in the year 2022, when opposition unanimously suggested her name to be fielded as the vice candidate, uh, vice president's candidate for opposition, Sonia Gandhi's approval is also there. So why, why are, what is the media trying to find out? Media is trying to just say that there is some kind of a uh, quarrel. Absolutely no. Entire opposition is standing behind her as a candidate for vice president of India. And therefore, please don't publicize this that 20 years ago somebody had said like this or 10 years ago somebody. How is that relevant? What is relevant is today whether Mrs. Gandhi, you, you go to Mrs. Gandhi, ask her whether she is backing uh, uh, Margaret Alva or not. She will say, yes, I am. That is what she has told the entire united uh, front uh, headed by uh, no other than uh, our leader, Sharad Pawar. You know, uh, why you may say that this is uh, an interview given years ago. It wasn't so long ago, though, 2016. As recent as 2016, uh, Margaret Alva spoke on our platform. And extensively, she's also further uh, elaborated the same allegations on her, in her book. And the no, Congress no, at that point had he, dismissed it as, as just mere publicity stunt, etc. Uh, but after much of those allegations, it seems like she's the candidate for the opposition. What was the, no, uh, what was the I, logic behind coming to a decision uh, and, and no, concluding I, on Margaret Alba? As I, I must tell you, I must fact, tell you, viewers, Alba. I must tell you and your viewers that look here, there are always differences in politics which are sometimes suppressed or sometimes which are surfaced. And now this, if it has surfaced, then it's all right. There may be differences on several issues when we are working for public for people, for country. But then, does that mean that Mrs. Sonia Gandhi does not have the approval of the candidature of Margaret Alva? Certainly not. So therefore, as far as her candidature is concerned, she is a very much unanimously selected person and she would be in the field getting the support of all the opposition parties. So what is the controversy? You know, the controversy is that uh, she's a senior leader of the Congress party. Within the Congress, she's held many positions, was known to be very close to Sonia Gandhi. She's made such grave allegations. The case is still open. No. It's still being investigated. At, at this point, uh, to, to put forth Margaret Alva's name as a vice president candidate for the uh, joint opposition really raises questions on the intention behind it. Is there, is there a peace deal? Is what the BJP asks. Of course, we've heard you, uh, what you say. But okay, give us your intentions on backing Margaret Alva. No, you see, you see, what you have said now, on the contrary, is the reason why she is the candidate. Because mm. she is an experienced woman. She mm. belongs to minority. She has had sufficient knowledge of uh, public functioning. She has held the positions of governors in various states. She yes. has held several important portfolios. These are the qualifications for which, you see, her name was chosen by the wisdom of collective opposition leadership. And therefore, what is wrong if she had some difference with Mrs. Gandhi at some point of time? But still, I'm telling you that today is in 2022, 2016, something may have happened. 2021, also something may have happened. I don't have any problem on that. But in 2022 now, for vice president's candidature, Mrs. Gandhi has also supported her. So what's the problem?